you know the formula that uh, uh, x bar equal to you can solve this problem using the tabular form whichever you find easier so you can use the formulas directly or uh, you can write everything in a table form okay so uh, first step we need to divide into simple geometrical shapes whose android uh, location is known to us so we can divide into one rectangle can you tell me how many shapes you can see in this figure how many shapes you can see three shapes you can see. three shapes yeah one three. rectangle right yeah. one, three one rectangle from rectangle these two are the void areas within the rectangle other two are void area so to to get the total area of this shaded part i need to deduct from the rectangular area these two okay semi circular area as well as triangular area so the total area of the shaded part will be a1 minus a2 minus a3 isn't it okay so the centroidal location there is no symmetry so with respect to the horizontal axis at the center if we take there is no uh, symmetry uh, y axis if i take exactly at the center also there is no symmetry both x bar and y bar we need to locate so x bar is equal to a1 x1 minus a2 x2 minus a3 x3 divided by a1 minus a2 minus a3. y bar equal to a1 y1 minus because these two are not shaded that's why minus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 so a1 area of the first rectangle the first area that is rectangle area is total uh, breadth into depth okay so uh, this is 120 plus 130 it is uh, 250 250 into 300 150 plus 13 to 120 250 by 300 is the area of the rectangle and centroidal location of the rectangle with respect to y axis is x1 okay this centroidal location of the rectangle with respect to x bar is y1 so i need to give the distance from y axis the centroidal location of the rectangle that is this is this distance is x1 this distance is y1 x1 is equal to exactly half of this b by 2 and d by 2 because these two axes are passing through the boundaries of the rectangle this distance is x1 horizontal distance is x1 vertical distance is y1 so this is 300 300 by 2 is 150 total is 250 250 by 2 is 120 so for the rectangle second area we'll consider this triangle triangle area of the triangle is half into base into height half into base if i consider this is 120 is the base 120 is the height half into 120 into 120 is the area of the triangle now this is the centroidal location of the triangle so i need the distance of this centroidal location with respect to y axis that is x2 this distance is x2 and from here to x axis the distance y2 now, how to get this x2 so you know that triangle centroid will be located from the apex two third of the base two third of 120 or from here where 90 degree from the 90 degree it is one third okay so one third of 120 one third of 120 so that is 40 so from entire 300 if i deduct this distance one third that's what I have from 300 minus one third of 120 because centroid of this triangle with respect to this end it is one third of 120 or what you can do 150 plus 30 that is 180 plus two third of 120 so you will get the same answer this is x2 300 minus 120 by 3 300 minus 40 will be the so that it is 260 will be the centroidal x2 of the triangle now from here to here the distance from the total so you what you can do from 250 you can deduct this distance top distance so so that i can get this entire distance or 130 plus two third of 120 i can do to get this distance so here i have written 250 minus one third of 120 one third of 120 so you get the centroidal location of this triangle. Then third figure. Coming to the third figure, A3, area of this semicircle. So pi r squared divided by 2 is the A formula for the area of the semicircle. Pi into 
R is 100 pi R square divided by 2 is the area of the semicircle. Then the centroid of the semicircle. Now the semicircle always from its diametral axis. This is the diametral axis of the semicircle. From its diametral axis always the centroid is located at a distance of 4R by 3 pi. So X3 is this distance. X3 is 4R divided by 3 pi. And this centroid with respect to x axis will be, this is exactly at the radius, where the center of the semicircle. Okay, this is in line with the center, center of the semicircle. So from here to here, the distance is one third. So, okay, this centroidal location with respect to y axis, with respect to x axis. So we got all the dimension. Now only the thing is you need to substitute in the relevant formula. A1x1 minus A2x2 minus a3 x3 divided by a1 minus a2 minus a3. So if you do, you will get the centroidal location. If you substitute this, in this, you will get the centroidal location of this shaded part. Okay. So I have not uh, evaluated completely, only the answers I, uh, like this I had given. Now your uh, uh, problem is you have to substitute a1 x1. A2 X2, A3 X3 divided by A1 minus U2 minus A3 and get these two answers. That is homework for you. Okay. Complete the problem. I have given you all the hints how to solve the problem. Second problem I have solved completely. Okay. Because there is, now you can see here, here also locate the centroid of this shaded part, only this part. Here there is one rectangle. Within the rectangle, one triangular area is cut and one, this is quarter of circular area or quadrant. Okay. One quadrant is cut. Okay. Now here also, with respect to X and Y axis, we are supposed to locate the center. It is exactly similar to the previous problem. Here it's rectangle, triangle and quadrant. Here rectangle, triangle and semicircle it is shown. A1, X1, A2 minus from rectangular area, I am deducting triangle and quadrant. A2, X2 minus A3, X3 divided by area. Okay. First, A1, area of the rectangle, A1. So, total it is 60 plus 30. The radius is 30, that is 90. So, total width is 90. Total depth of the rectangle is, this is 30, this is 30. This is 60, total 60. So 90 by 60, 90 by 60 is the area of the rectangle. Now centroid of the rectangle with respect to y axis, the distance, how much it will be? Can you tell me where the centroid of the rectangle? I need x1 and y1. What is x1 now with reference to y axis? How much it will be from here to here? Can you tell me? I need this distance here to here and here to F. this. Can you tell me what is this yellow distance? And also I need distance from here to here. Total distance from here to here. Okay. Can you tell me? Anybody can answer. What is this? Are you getting me or not? There are 15 participants. Hmm? Shall I ask? Sejal, can you answer? Pritam? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> then why are you silent? I thought my something had happened uh, to my audio. I was searching for all those things. Something had happened. Yeah. Taleka. Yeah. Pritam, Pritam, Pritam. 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 Pritam.
Tell me the. Tell me the. I need this distance. How much it will be? This rectangle. What is x one? What is y one? This is the exact one. What is x one? What is x one? What is x one? What is x one? Anybody can answer. Can you tell me? Anybody can answer. Can you tell me? See the centroid of the rectangle will lie at a distance of b by two and b by two. What is the width? What is the gap? What is the width? What is the gap? Yes. Any answer? Yes. Any answer? Mahima, Madhumati. Mahima, Madhumati. Yes. 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 Yes, can you tell me now? See, x1 is from y axis, this centroidal location. So the total it is 60 plus 30, 90, 90 divided by 2. That is 45. From here to here, it is total depth. That is 60 divided by 2, that is 30. X1, Y1. So that is the central location of the rectangle. Next figure, I will consider semicircle. So for this central location of the semicircle with respect to Y axis, so it is not semicircle, it is quadrant, quadricircular area. So with respect to the diametral, this is also the diametral axis of the quadrant. This line is also the diametral axis of the quadrant because center of the quadrant lies here. Okay. So this we call it as a diameter axis. Of the, with respect to this, the, it is 4r by 3 pi. With respect to this also, it is 4r by 3 pi. So y with respect to y axis, the distance of the centroid is 4r by 3 pi, where r is the radius of the quadrant. 4r divided by 3 pi. Y2 will be the distance with respect to x axis. So, from this centroid up to here, the distance. To get this distance from the total, that is 60, minus this, this top, that is 4r by 3 pi. 60 minus 4r by 3 pi will be the centroid location of the quadrant with respect to x axis, that is y2. Next figure, A3, this triangle, half into base length. So, base length is uh, out of 90, you deduct 45. The remaining base is 45. Half into 45 into height is 60. This is the area. And this centroid and location with respect to y axis that I had shown it as x3. And this is y3. x3 is equal to from total, you can deduct or this is 45 plus because this is apex point. Here there is a 90 degree. It is two third. Two third of 45. 2 third of 45 plus 45 will be x3. From here to here, that is y3, that is 1 third of total, 1 third of 60, that is 20. So we have uh, found out all the dimensions of the centroid and location of each and every figure. Now you need to substitute here a1 x1 minus a2 x2 minus a3 x2 divided by a. You will get x bar so much and y bar. This was the answer. You can complete this.
by substituting here and you can see whether you are getting these answers or not. Okay. This is what uh, you can work out. So you have to be very much careful about the centroidal location of each and every figure if we turn in the other direction, if the uh, quadrant is given like this or in the opposite direction. So the, generally the semicircle we have taken in the other way around like this, semicircle like this. Now the semicircle shape is known. with respect to which axis the centroid lies. That, that is very important. Okay. So this is what about the second problem. And third problem, determine the centroid with respect to the given axis. Now, my axis are one axis here, one axis here. Anyway, one it consists of one semicircle and one triangle, only two areas. That's why x bar equal to a1, x1 plus because both are shaded. Uh, it is complete area we need to locate. So, only two areas. So, I had written here so one semicircle. The centroidal location of the semicircle with respect to y, with respect to so only two figures uh, have completed the problem. You can just go through this problem. This is third problem. And of uh, x bar and y. This is another type of problem. Okay. So entire there is one only this shaded part. Shaded part. Okay. All dimensions are given. One complete rectangle of size 120 by 60. From this rectangle, you can deduct this triangular area and this triangular. Okay, you will get x bar and y bar. This is for homework. Hmm? You have to complete this problem. In the same way, the, the x and y axis, the entire figure is in first part. Okay, this is another figure I have taken. Locate the centroid of the shaded part. So, one rectangle and there is one semicircle is cut into 100 by 150. So, the radius of the semicircle will be half of the, this diameter. So, this total diameter becomes 100. So, 50 is the radius of this. So, two areas. This is void area. So, A1Y1 minus A2Y2. Now, here you observe if you take exactly at the center this Y axis that is symmetric. That's why X bar we have not written only Y bar. But this problem, y bar, y bar equal to so much. Okay, this is uh, one more problem. I'll explain about this problem. Sixth problem because x axis is not exactly at the bottom of the figure. So y axis is at the extreme end we have taken. But if you observe x axis, it is passing through somewhat at the center of the figure. So, you have to locate the centroid with respect to those two axes. Now, some area is below the x axis. So, you will get accordingly. That means this figure is in fourth quadrant. This is in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant. This is fourth quadrant. So, you will get this much portion uh, circle, half portion of the circle, and this semicircle is in uh, fourth quadrant. So, A1, we can divide into one triangle. One semicircle. Out of this, you have to deduct circular area to get the shaded area. So A1 half into A1 is the area of the triangle. Half into base of the triangle 100 because the total diameter is given. Half into base into height also 100. Then X1. X1 is centroidal location of the triangle with respect to Y axis. This centroidal location with respect to X axis where the centroidal location of the triangle lies about the given coordinate axis. x1 equal to this distance, this is the apex point. So it is two-third of base, two-third of 100. And y1 is from here to here, that is one-third, one-third of 100, 33.3. Okay, so you have completed the triangle. Next, we consider semicircle. a2 is pi r squared divided by 2 area of the semicircle and x2, x2 is this distance, centroid of the semicircle with respect to x, that is at the radial distance, x2 is 50 and y2 is centroidal location of this with respect to x axis. Now it is below the, this centroidal location, it is below the x axis but it is right of y axis, that's why x3 is positive. When it comes to y3, it is below the x-axis. This centroid is of the semicircle is located 
below the x axis so that is minus this distance is 4r by 3 pi minus it is very important minus 4r by 3 pi okay then third figure is circle area of the circle pi r square pi into 25 square x3 center of this with respect to y axis it lies at a distance of 50 and x3 y3 y3 is 0 because centroid lies on the x axis itself centroid lies on the x axis itself so y3 becomes 0 for the given figure there is no vertical distance because centroid is on the x axis itself so y3 equal to 0 x3 is at the left of the section so it is positive area is negative a3 should be minus here i had shown minus a3. okay minus a3. area should be negative this answer you should write it as minus next you substitute all the values all the values here a1 x1 a1 x1 a2 x2 x2 is positive a3 minus a3 okay minus a3 x3 is positive minus a3 a1 plus a2 minus a3 you will get x bar answer similarly y bar when you consider a1 y1 y1 is positive a2 y2 is negative so a2 is positive y2 is negative a2 is positive y2 minus 4r by 3 and a3 negative y3 is 0 minus pi r square into 0 so this entire term becomes 0 this term becomes negative here so you will get to y bar so like this you can do the complete all the problems some problems halfway i left i want you to complete this either you can uh, if ever if at all you are uh, comfortable with the table form you enter everything in the table form and complete the problem all of you are informed to complete all these problems in your notebook. Solve it neatly. Hmm? Any doubt regarding any of the problems we have discussed? Like tomorrow I will be taking a moment of inertia. Student, any doubt regarding any of these problems? Ankita. Gayatri. Madhumati, no one is uh, responding. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tell me now. <laughs> Any doubt? Did you understand the concept? Um, we will try. You will try. You have to solve all these problems in your notebook, okay? Solve it, then only you can understand better. So, if you solve, whenever you get doubts, please uh, text me through whatsapp and i will uh, give you the hint okay so all of you solve all these problems any test you have today or tomorrow today math test is yeah, today maths. Maths. tomorrow it's you have over ma'am it's over it's over, over. tomorrow yeah. electrical tomorrow. electrical is there electrical i want to yes, have there's one one problem one test on uh, uh, centroid and one problem on uh, cusses. Ma'am, we are not able to do the assignment. Assignment you can submit me later also. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Whenever uh, it is possible for you to complete, you submit it. There is no deadline. I am not keeping any deadline for the assignment. But uh, try to complete as early as possible because we will be completing the other values also. So, mean, yeah, tell me. Anything to ask? Okay. So, when do we have uh, like uh, one test on uh, centroid and uh, trusses? One problem on truss will be there, one problem on centroid. So, uh, when you want to take this test? 
at least uh, this weekend or next to monday <laughs> You want some more problems for practice, or so because again I'll be completing a moment of inertia within two three hours. So there also that module also come into picture. Or only on process you want to have test first. This centroid we can have it later. Centroid and moment of inertia I think we can keep it together because it is just the extension of a centroid or moment of inertia also. Mm -hmm. So I'll have conduct one test on this. Okay, one problem you can uh, solve some members method of section some members method of terms. Okay, only one. Okay. When will uh, when uh, shall I keep that test? Next week or this week? Next week. We need time to study now. Yeah. Next Monday. Shall I keep it on Monday? Yes, Don't keep any other test on that day. Okay? Next Monday we'll have one test on now only on trusses. Okay, a method of joints and method of section. Yes. yes. Okay. These things, uh, all these problems, so you just go through, work out the problems. Okay? This itself is for the assignment also. All these because some of the problems I have not solved completely. You are supposed to solve it in your notebook itself. Okay. Complete it. Some answers are given. Uh, check this whether you are getting it or not. This also I am not completing. You complete it and get me the answers. Okay. Okay then. Hmm? Shall I wind up?